Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video we are going to talk about dual TIF circuits and DC-DC voltage booster circuits. Both of the circuits are quite similar, they are very similar to each other and very easy to make, very easy to build. I will show you step by step and after the video you will easily make your own dual TIF circuit. So, if you talk about dual TIF circuits where we are using these circuits, if you have some batteries just like this, the voltage inside these battery are very low so you can't light an LED or run a DC motor with these batteries but via dual tip circuit it is possible for you to light an LED and run a DC motor because dual tip circuit increase the low voltage to higher measures so it is possible to use almost dev batteries now as I said it's very easy very simple to make so let's start our circuit please watch the video very carefully don't miss any point uh, during the video okay now most important part of this circuit is making toroidal transformer because most of my friends make mistake while they are doing these transformers other part of the circuit are very easy the um, circuit is very easy connections are very easy but probably most of you make mistakes while you are doing toroidal transformer so please watch this part very carefully in order to do not make any mistakes I have a ferromagnetic ring here, as you see, it's very little, very small, small ring. And I have also two pieces of copper wire, just like this, two pieces of copper wire. Uh, it is 0 0.8 millimeters, two pieces of copper wire. It's about um, half a meter, both of them half a meter. Now I will <coughs> uh, wind this copper wire on the ring and make our uh, toroidal transformer. But the most important point is that. Now, just imagine that these two copper wires are different color. So I will mark one of them in order to not confuse while we are making our toroidal transformer. I will mark this one. Okay, just imagine that this one is black and this one is white, okay? I got my ring here and I will winding the copper wire on the ring. Okay, my friends, we finish our winding. It's about 25 turns. 25 turns will be enough. But at this point, it's very important. Please watch carefully. As you see, these pins we are marked. This one is black one. And also this one is black one. This one is white one. And this one is white one. So I will connect the black one with the white one. These two cables, I will connect them together. Okay. So I will... <coughs> Uh, scrape the isolated part from the cable if you make wrong connections your circuit won't work and you will be very frustrated and get very angry because of the uh, problem so be careful at this point now this one and this one I will connect these two cables to each other Okay, just connect them and solder the cable. You see, my friends, our toroidal transformer should be like this.
Okay, let's continue to our project, our circuit. I'm going to use this transistor. This is BD214, and you can also use some other uh, NPN transistors. I will show you the legs of the transistor. This one is base, the middle leg is uh, collector, and this one is emitter leg. So be careful when you connect the uh, components to the transistor. Now, I have a heat sink here. Now let me tell you again, this leg is based, this is collector, and this one is emitter. Now I have 1K resistor, I will connect the resistor to the base of the transistor. Now I got my transformer again here, look at, I will just connect this pin to the resistor. like this look at this carefully just like this I'm going to connect this pin to the middle leg of the transistor my friends okay now it's almost finished now I will connect two extra wire this one will be a positive input of our circuit so i will connect a red wire here and solder it again okay i am going to connect two black wire to this leg because this will be also our negative input and our negative output so i need two wire i will connect two black wire to that leg my friends okay my friends our jewel tip circuit is ready to use now let me show you very closely look at the connections carefully the positive input and negative input negative output and this will be the positive output so i will connect an, another red wire here okay my friends our dual tube circuit is ready to use let me show you and tell you again the uh, connections this is the uh, positive input just here positive input and this one is uh, negative input and this one is the other black wire is negative output and this red cable is positive output now it's time to test um, our circuit now at the beginning of the video I showed you two batteries these batteries are, are almost died the voltage is very low now I will measure the voltage and try to um, light an LED with these batteries and after that I'm going to use my um, circuit to light an LED again. Yeah, in this one, as you see, the voltage is 1.46, it's almost light, and in this one, the voltage is 1.15 volts. Now, I have an LED here, my friends. Now, now I will try to light this LED with our batteries. I'm going to take another cable. This light is negative and this one is positive. L As you see, our LED is not lighting. It's not working. Okay. Now let's try with this battery. Now, as you see, it doesn't work. Now I am going to use my dual tip circuit in order to light this LED with the same battery. Now let me 
connect my LED to the output of the circuit, the positive lag to the positive output, just like this, and the negative to the negative. Okay. I got my battery, the positive and the negative. Okay, as you see, our LED is working very well. Okay, our LED is working very well with this battery, just almost tight battery. Now let's try with the other one. Okay. Wow, that's nice. Our LED is working also with this battery. As you see, normally it wasn't working, but when you use the dual tip circuit, it's work very well. That's nice. Now, as I said, we have dual tip circuit. Now we're going to turn this dual tip circuit into DC DC voltage booster. Now I will remove the uh, LED. What I'm going to do, I will just add one diode and one capacitor. Okay, I have a diode, one N4007 diode, and I have also a 1000 microfarad and 50 volts capacitor, electrolytic capacitor. I'm going to use these two components in order to um, turn the dual tip circuit into DC DC voltage booster. Now I'm going to <coughs> connect, look at here please carefully. I will connect the positive poles of the diode to the positive output of the circuit, just like this. And solder it again. I'm going to solder it. Now I'm going to connect the negative pole of the capacitor to the negative output of the circuit. Now lastly I'm going to connect the negative pole of the diode to the positive pole of the capacitor. Okay my friends our DC to DC voltage booster circuit is ready now we will test it we will see how many voltage we will get from the output. First I will try with the battery with this battery. Okay, we connect the batteries now. Check out the voltage from the output. As you see, my friends, the voltage is about 12.25. 12.25. With this, that battery, it's incredible. It's very nice. 3.7 volt um, lithium ion battery. Now, after that, we will check out the output voltage. As you see, it's 26.8 volts. Yeah, it's 27 volts and it's increase. It's increasing. Now, wait for a while until how much it will increase. Just wait for a while. Now it's 29.3, wait a little bit more. Okay, this time as you see 30.5 volts. If you wait enough, probably it will reach up to 45 or 40 volts, probably. Now I am going to try to light this bulb with my circuit. This is 21, uh, this is 12 volt and 21 watt. We will see if it will light or not. Okay, as you see, 
bulb is working it's light good that's nice now let's make another test i have a pc phone it's very big pc one as you see it is um 12 volt and 0 0.14 amp i will try to uh, run this uh, fan motor with our circuit okay it's working very well now as a last test and i just checked the transistor if it's very hot or not no it's very cool there's no uh, too much uh, heat on the transistor it's very nice so we can use this circuit for our project as you see first of all we made a dual tip circuit after that we turn our dual tip circuit into a dc dc voltage booster now i will uh, short circuit the capacitor in order to discharge it okay see a lot of voltage inside the capacitor okay my friends we get the end of our video i hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed it please subscribe my channel and like the video take care of yourself see you in the next videos my friends